What's going on? Welcome to Fearless Friday. Now, there's nothing I'll get more fulfillment from than when a client reaches out to me and tells me, hey, Anthony, I told this girl that she looked great in those pants, or I told her she looked amazing in those yoga pants, and she loved it, and she smiled, and we got a date tomorrow night. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And the reason I love it is because it really pushes through that boundary of your limiting beliefs about what you're able to say and able to communicate, right? So if you have restrictions about what you say or feel is appropriate to say to women, which a lot of us do based on societal standards, right? And what our, what our mothers told us or what our fathers told us that we shouldn't do and shouldn't say to women, it's amazing to see what you can get away with and what they actually enjoy. Because the truth is they actually really do enjoy it when you're being more straightforward. Now, there's a difference between being straightforward and it being well received and you being straightforward and it feeling like you're being perverted and the girl wants to get away from you. <laughs> so stay to the end of the video where I'm gonna tell you guys how to get away with or how I get away with being direct and have great results coming from it, okay? So stay to the end of the video. A little more about that. When you're beating around the bush, you're really causing unnecessary steps in the process of attraction or in the process of seduction or in the process of mating, right? You're putting yourself through more hoops than you actually need to put yourself through. And I see this with guys all the time. They're overcomplicating it. I used to overcomplicate it too, I get it, but you don't need to overcomplicate it and I'm here to help you guys fast track through that so you guys can stop getting in your own way. The minute you get more direct and straightforward in your approaches with women, you start to realize that you can create attraction instantly just by showing up and saying what it is that you actually meant to say. A lot of the times what's happening is that we'll see a woman and immediately in a split second like that, we won't even notice it. We'll totally just decline what we were feeling in that moment and try to go into our heads and think of something else to say that's nicer, right? Or something that's more appropriate because we don't feel like what we have to say is gonna be well received. And that's just putting yourself through more steps. You don't need to put yourself through more steps, you know, unless you like the challenge. I personally don't like the extra steps if I don't have to. So, what I like to do is I like to get straight to the point, right? And I don't mean like, hey, I wanna sleep with you, straight to the point. No, because there needs to be a level of connection that happens before any of that can really be established. But when it comes to actually talking to the girl and approaching her, your whole premise for approaching her in the first place, that right there opens the door to everything that you want in that interaction, okay? So when you guys are being more straightforward, you guys are setting the tone of the interaction, right? Now, before when I was first starting with Phyllis work, I was still doing the nice guy thing, right? <laughs> what do you do for work? Where do you work? Oh, how long you been in LA? Oh, where do you live, right? These interview questions, and there's nothing wrong with interview questions. There's only something wrong with interview questions when they're not coming from a connected place or a place where you actually care. I didn't really care about those questions, right? I was just like trying to hang in those conversations for as long as I could. It was more like an endurance race, right? How long can I stay in here before I self-reject or before she rejects me? That's what the game really was. So the better I got at approaching, the more I realized I was doing like 50 to 60 to 70% more work than was necessary in approaching. So the minute I went out, and I remember this, I remember the first day this happened, I was in a, tw I was in a uh, three month program with Brian and Brian was like, cool. Well, where are you at with your homework? And my homework assignment was something like go out and get some numbers, right? And I, I had been doing that. So Brian was like, all right, well, check it out. This is your next, this is your next step. I want you to go out. But he was like, what, what's your hold back? And my whole thing was like, well, I'm scared to be direct and really tell a girl what I'm feeling. He was like, okay, cool. Well, your homework is to go out and be, straight, be sexually straightforward with the girl right off the bat. And I was so terrified. I was like, there's no way I can do that. If I do that, somebody's gonna call security on me. They're gonna call the cops on me. I'm gonna get in trouble. And it never happened. But the first time I went out and I actually did it, I remember being in Whole Foods and seeing this, seeing a sexy girl in yoga pants reaching up for like some cereal or something like that on the shelf. And 
it was looking even better because she was reaching up for, for whatever she was reaching up for. And I remember thinking to myself, Jesus Christ, I was like, I have to do this because if I don't do this, I'm never going to get better at this stuff. And so I remember my heart was just pumping, racing, like boom, 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 boom. And as I walk over there nervously, sheepishly, I stop her and I'm saying, hey, excuse me, you look amazing. Or I said, I think you said, you look sexy in those yoga pants. And she came down from where she was trying to grab, kind of fast too, and she looked at me and she smiled. And she was like, thank you. Like she received it really well. And me, I was so nervous still, even after I gave it to her, even after she received it well. I was like, yo, I got to get the hell out of here. So I delivered it. She received it well. And I got the hell out of the store as fast as I could because there was still a part of me that was like, somebody's going to call security. <laughs> but anyways, that's, that's my first story of it. And since then, I've never gone back from doing it that way. I, I, I would say 80% of the time I do it that way, you know, if the girl's wearing something that, like that that really calls to me. Now, before we jump into the meat and potatoes of how I get away with doing this and how you guys can actually get away with doing this, I want to talk to the guys who are new to the channel. Welcome. Or if you guys have been hanging around a long time and you haven't subscribed yet, consider hitting like and subscribe. Hit the, hit the notification bell too because we don't want you guys to miss the videos that we're putting out, stuff like this specifically that guys need to hear because they're going out and then they're, they're not really showing up the way a solid man would for women. And women really appreciate it when you show up solidly for them even if they say they have a boyfriend, it doesn't matter. They just want solid men to show up. And the more solid you show up, the more dates you get, the more fun you have, the more you find yourself having more women than you know what to do with. And a lot of times women are okay with that, right? They just want you to be honest and open about it. So hit like and subscribe so you can constantly get the videos that we're putting out. We don't want you guys to miss a single thing and we want you guys to continue growing, okay? Now, on to the meat and potatoes here. Why does being straightforward with women work with some guys and not others? And I know what you guys are gonna say. Oh, because, <laughs> I see this in the comments all the time. Oh, because he looks, his looks are like an eight out of 10. He can get away with whatever, whatever he wants. No, that ain't it. <laughs> that is not it. Now, I don't look eight out of 10, that's for sure. And I get away with it all the time. So I know that's bull crap. So stop doing that, okay? Here's the deal. The guys who give straightforward compliments or a little bit more sexually risque compliments that get well received is because they're more connected to their bodies, in particular, more connected to their heart than most guys are when they're delivering those compliments. Now, a guy who's not connected to his body at all or who's not connected to his heart, and he delivers a compliment like, you look sexy in those pants, or you make those pants look amazing, it's gonna come off kind of perverted, right? And a woman's gonna to wanna to get away. Because again, we're, we're talking about energy here, right? Women are so much more receptive to energy than guys are. And if your heart is in it and you're feeling that sense of, what's the word here, softness in your heart, and you're delivering it from that place, it reaches differently. It doesn't reach in a way that's perverted or makes her wanna run from you. It actually makes her be like, oh, well that was nice, thank you, right? And again, it's coming from a place that's much softer, not like brutal, like I want to get in your pants. It's more like, I really do appreciate you wearing those pants. You look super sexy in them, right? And a lot of times you guys got to remember, women do get dressed up because they want to be noticed, right? They're the feminine. They're feminine. The feminine wants to be seen, right? But they want to be seen by silent men. They don't want to be seen by perverted guys. They don't want to be seen by guys who are not connected to their bodies, right? They don't like that. They like a guy who's connected to his body. So the more connected you are to your heart when you're delivering this kind of compliments, you're going to get great results. You're going to get, you're going to get results that, that lead to girls smiling, giggling, super appreciative that you showed up in that solid way, wanting to go on a date with you, right? Things like that, insta-dates happen from that, sex happens from that, right? So I want you guys to get more confident in giving those, but being, on the, being more on the side of the guy who's connected to his heart and his body and delivers those compliments versus the guy who's doing it from his head like, hey, you look, you, look, you look sexy in that. You look sexy in that or whatever, however it comes off, right? You know how guys do it when they're just not connected to their body. So what's a good way to really get connected to your body? Or what's a good way to get connected to your heart, I should say? Now, Brian's got a video on how to, get, how to have instant charisma in 10 minutes flat. Go find that video. It's, it's a video that's on a heart meditation that really gives you the contrast between being in your heart and not being in your heart, so you know when you're actually on, right? The more you do that meditation, you really start to have a visceral experience 
of what it's like to be in your heart, right? Because if you don't know what it's like to be in your heart, you're just shooting in the dark and you don't really know. So go back and watch that video. That's a really great one. Then go out and start giving compliments on things that you actually are excited about, about this girl. Like say for instance, if you see a girl walking in and she's fit as hell, right? Body's banging, top and bottom, through and through, right? Don't go over there and be like, oh, you have a nice smile. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. You shoot yourself in the foot because all the energy that you could be using from the excitement of her looking the way she does can be transferred into that conversation or that interaction versus beating around the bush and trying to do it in a roundabout way. It's not attractive. It's not sexy. It, it shows weakness, right? Because you're not doing it straightforwardly like you actually wanted to do it in the first place. So go out there and practice to slowly ramp up giving these compliments. But again, do it from a connected place. There's nothing worse than giving those kind of compliments from a place that's not connected. And I'm guilty of it too. I've gone out too and I haven't been connected in my heart and I've tried giving those compliments as well and then they don't hit. And then the girl just doesn't say anything to me and she just walks away, right? So I know the difference because I've played around with both of them. So get used to being in your heart and giving those compliments. That's the key difference between a guy who can say something very sexual to a girl and it lands and it draws her in and it makes her want to know more about you versus the guy who says those things and the girl wants to get away, right? Because emotionally her body just wants to get away. It's all energy, guys. We talk about this constantly. Women are better receivers of energy than guys are because society teaches guys to be man up, be a man, be stoic, don't show your emotions, right? Not the way to really live in the world, but women are nurtured in the way that they feel or it's more acceptable for women to feel because they're known to feel a whole lot and so what we as men are learning how to do is to speak to women on that emotional level but also still being a grounded solid ass dude but also bring just that element of feeling into the picture as well so when you do it from a place of feeling it lands differently guys okay now go back immediately and watch brian's video called how to gain instant karma in 10 minutes flat and watch that meditation Learn how to get into your heart so that when you go out with the intention to be direct and straightforward, it'll actually feel really nice to the girl, right? It, it, once it feels really nice to her on, on a bodily level, she associates you with making her feel good and she wants to get to know more about you, okay? So go out there, watch that video, get back to us, comment on how that's been going for you out there, okay guys? Again, we love shooting these videos for you and we can't wait to shoot more. Remember guys, only the confident really live. Peace.